Oh, two birds, one shot. <clears throat> Holy smokes, they decoy good. I've waited to open up the video to the first shot. There we go. First birds at 6.25 in the morning. <sighs> what a beautiful morning. I have not started the video yet, like I said. I've just been holding off until we shot the first birds. There we go. We really demolished the first one. This is a very, this is a very, very small hunt. Um, not a lot of birds coming here but just enough for a good old solo hunt. Juvenile, like I was saying, this guy got kind of blown apart. Another very young bird there. Oh, here we go. Oh. Boy, how that got naughty. Boy, I just tore him up there. Been trying to eat my breakfast sandwich every time <clears throat> I take a bite. I look up and there's birds coming. <sighs> I still had a mouthful of food. I'm <laughs> just spraying and praying, baby. All right, well, I think I tagged three there we should be five on the board wow that was fast right spot boy i'm in the right spot look at these suckers crank in here oh i missed him i need a shell bob i need a shell oh missed him too gish girly Oh, oh, oh boy, tearing them up. This is fun. Come on, smash the thumbs up button for the uh, solo pitch hunt. Um, it's been a little while, right? I know. I've been looking for a pigeon hunt, finally found a little one. Um, I've seen probably 50 birds, about, total. Um, could have been more, now that I see the flight coming. Definitely could have been more, here comes two more. Look at these two just putting their wings back, cranking in here. Wow. You did. Boy, howdy, look at that. Wow. Well, I am absolutely tearing them up. I knew they were going to be a little dumb, but they are real dumb. I picked the right spot. Um, I picked the right spot. Definitely, I was weary about it. I picked the right spot. Let's see if we can try this again. All right, looks like we have a little break. Birds here. There we go. Whoo, that boy's dead. Clapping. Absolutely clapping out here. Boy, howdy. Boy, howdy. Look at that, would you? That's good to see. That is good to see. We got dove decoy like a mofo. Oh my goodness, look at all these pigeons. That's a giant flock. Okay, not giant, only about 15. Come on. Wow. Let them in there. Let them down in there. Oh yeah. Oof, that got nasty. I only picked two out of it. That got dirty right there. 
coming back right in front, same group. Oh my goodness, Bobby. I only got one. That was some real bad shooting at the end there. Wow, these birds love it. Holy smokes. This is way better than I thought. My barrel is burning. That silencer is just red hot. Hey, look at this group. Wow. Oh, darn it. Missed the first shot. What the heck, Bob? I waited forever. I'm just letting them dance. Oh man, it's so cool when you get a good pitch and hunt when they're reacting like this. So awesome. Big group, another 10. Good night. Oh man, I am not shooting good there, boys and girls. What in the heck? Same group decoying. <laughs> Does the silencer help him decoy twice? I don't know, maybe. Look at that single get in there. Bring your buddies. Bring your buddies. Bring your buddies. He's not gonna bring his buddies. His buddy said, dude, we've already fell for it twice. Come on back. Oh, they might. Here we go. There's two. Uh, good shooting. Made up for my last poop show. Whew. Barrel is hot today. My goodness. Coming than I thought. Oh, there's three. Yeah, good shooting. We got three out of that go. Woo, Bob's absolutely tearing them up today. Oh, we got another group decoy. I got a jam shells, jam shells, jam shells. Here we go. There's a single doing it. Oh man, feels like it's been forever since I've just been on a good old solo hunt like this, watching the sun come up. My kids were supposed to come with me this morning, both of them. I knew better. I shouldn't even asked because we stayed up late. It's summertime, the kids are out of school. I knew that they'd be too whooped. And um, as you guys seen, first birds that hit the ground, first birds to fly was at 625. You got to get up at 5.30 to make it happen, and I knew that they probably weren't going to be up for it this morning. I, I, I looked at them, they were snoozing logs, and I'm like, man, I'd feel bad waking you up, but <laughs> this is fun. This is a lot of fun. This is uh, why I love hunting. Um, making it happen. Creating a plan. It feels like forever since I've created my plan. You know, where am I going to sit in the morning, getting my decoys, just creating, gathering the plan. And when it works, so it's, it's honestly what keeps you coming back. Um, just being in control of your controllables, man. I love it so much. I miss the season. It's coming. It feels like this is the beginning of the season for me. It really does. It feels like um, this hunt is almost pretty much the beginning of my season. You know, doves going to be coming up, teal honkers um the mornings are kind of getting cooler it's like 66 degrees today 
Uh, I am ready for the north wind, hoodie weather, waiter weather, boot weather, cold weather. You know what I'm getting at. And they both did. Dag gum, Bob. Look at that dove. I just shot and still decoyed a dove right there. Wow. <laughs> That's about all I can say today, boys. There we go. I dropped two on the first shot. That was a twofer. Oh. <laughs> that first shot, just two of them went. Three out of that one. My goodness. I'm not dumping it. I'm not just spraying. I am taking very selected shots today. Um, just calculated shots. Letting them decoy as best as I can. Single getting in there. Boy, he got center punched pretty good there. Wow. Ah, I tried to find my shot cam today and I could not find it. Uh, this was a last minute thing. You know what I mean? It'd be some really good shot cam footage today. <laughs> Darn it. Oh, but in other news, um, yeah, still booking the lodge. Um, hanging out during the summer. Just finished the lodge all up. Uh, it looks absolutely amazing. Um, the new epoxy floors are all done and looking better than I could have ever imagined. So our returning clients are going to get a treat when they walk in the door and um, the place just looks that much better. It really does, but <sighs> feels so good to be out here. I'm so ready to start sharing this experience with my clients, with my friends, <clears throat> past and new, present, my folks, Gerald, Aaron, Bert. I am ready to get after it. I, I can taste it. Um, I miss it so, so, so much taking people hunting. That's my most favorite thing about guiding is taking people hunting. Showing them an experience like this right here. Here comes two. Well, I might have scared them. Or they might decoy them better. Yep, coming back. Alright, I'll pick one out of that, that's fine. <clears throat> well, <laughs> it's, uh, I've been shooting four. Let's look at the clock real quick. I have been shooting right at 30 minutes. Right at 30 minutes. No more, no less. Uh, but, uh, I do have room. Uh, November, January, February, very, very minuscule amount in December left. It's really filling up. Uh, so if you're looking to come to Kansas, hunt uh, ducks and geese, guys, get a hold of me. Um, if you haven't seen the lodge and you're new here, go back a few videos, go go check out the lodge. We got Chef Bert that cooks up all the meals. Uh, absolutely delicious food. Um, like I tell people, you're not gonna be eating hamburgers and hot dogs at Sand Hill Flyway. You're gonna be eating ribeyes, specialty, just, one of my favorite dishes of Bert's is uh, his shrimp etouffee. It's almost like a gumbo. You know, I'm not southern, but my goodness, it's addictive. It's good. Then he makes this garlic, uh, garlic toast, garlic bread. And he puts uh, this homemade cream stuff on it with cooked uh, shrimp on the top of the bread. And then cheese melted all, all over the top of it. Oh, my goodness. And then in other news, uh, before we get to shooting here again, we might be done. Uh, I might call it quits a little early too to try to save some birds out here so I can come back and hunt it again, hopefully. Uh, but in other news, uh, my podcast, uh, it's on Patreon. It's called Blind Talk Podcast. Well, I am revamping Blind Talk into being my own personal platform with all my unedited, raw, uncut content over there. Uh, a lot of you here have not seen the stuff that I'm that I've been putting up there. Uh, putting up another one today. 
um, of videos that you guys have not seen. Uh, Bobby gets to use the language he wants. Bobby gets to be himself. We get to drink some brutes, clean some birds, sling some blood, whatever, right? Uh, basically, it's Bobby being the real Bobby. And uh, I think a lot of you over 18 would absolutely enjoy it. I'm also giving away a two-man hunt over there on my podcast slash Patreon over on Blind Talk. Let's just say that. Over on Blind Talk. Um... For two guys to come here this coming season. So I'm going to be doing that giveaway in September. So get on board. Love to have you. You'll enjoy it. And yes, it's active. Uh, we got a little bit behind at the end of last season, you know, March, uh, the spring with the podcast. But with all this unedited stuff, it's popping. Oh, that's a long shot. He's down. Boom. We got more coming right here. Maybe. They might have just seen their bub buddies get tore up and they're like, we're good. We're just going to stay back here. They did. They actually landed back there. My uh, blind talk is always linked at the top of the description down below as well as sandhill flyways if you're interested in sandhill flyways all you got to do is go to sandhillflyways.com fill out the booking form i'll be getting a hold of you please like i always say sorry i got the hiccups serious inquires only please and thank you i was not ready they're gonna decoy again though oh yeah Oh, yes. Yeah. Another two. Another two. Boy, howdy. Look at these dove crashing in there. Pidge right behind them. Go down. He's going down. Boom. All right. We're going to do some cleanup duty. What do we got here? Young bird. Uh, another young bird. Uh, pretty young. That's an old bird. Big old dude. Just waiting to run into a band here at some point. Another old bird. Young bird. Boy, look at that black one. He's young. It's pretty though. Young bird, really white. Uh, really young bird. Well, that would explain why they're so dumb. They are all really young. Add one to the pile. Boy, this is fun. Look at these decoying. My glasses are fogging up on me. Oh, the old glasses. I gotta take them off. Look at these two getting in here. I thought the hunt was over earlier. Holy smokes, they're just dropping like flies out here. All right, we do have some new subscribers to the channel. Um, some of you may have or have not seen my shotgun silencer. This is a 12 gauge shotgun silencer from JK Armament, guys. Check them out. Uh, brand new, just came out this year. It is a round style like a normal silencer should be. Um, you all have seen some of my old silencer videos with a different one. Uh, that was actually with the Silencer Co. brand. Different brand. I absolutely love it. You can take any of these. Uh, basically, you can make it as long or short as you want. This is the longest possible. Um, I can go half. I can basically go down to half with this 12 gauge. Um, I want to try it. I want to see what it sounds like. Let me know if I should do a miniature silencer challenge. Or just do the video. Doesn't necessarily have to always be a challenge, right? 
Should I take this bad boy about halfway down, sling some lead with it? You let me know. I am so ready to duck hunt with the silencer though. I think public land walk-in marsh situations, it's gonna reign supreme because it's so quiet. It's so quiet. Um, there's a tree row in front of me about, I don't know, 350 yards-ish, 400 yards. And uh, you just hear a little bit of ch -ch echo off of it. Um, without the silencer, it would be going ch -ch it's hard to tell on the old GoPro how quiet it actually is, but uh, in fact, I can shoot this around my kids, um, obviously myself, anybody, and it's not gonna ring your ear. It's not, at all. I have pretty hot loads in right now. I'm shooting a, a high brass uh, lead shot. It's actually the high bird from Federal, and um, I could bring my kids along. I was going to. The only reason I, I say I can promise you uh, is because I have compared a 410 shotgun, my 410, obviously it doesn't have a silencer on it, uh, compared to my 12 gauge silence, and the 12 gauge silence is one heck of a lot. I don't think that makes any sense. A heck of a lot uh, quieter. It's simply amazing, it really is. I'm getting used to shooting it a little better, but I'm ready for the geese. I think I could do really, really, really good on the geese. We're going to use it for teal, so stay tuned for the dove hunts to come. We're, we're only about a month out, a little more. We're going to be getting down on some dove. Ho, 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 ho. That dude, that's a good looking bird right there. We got to go check him. Yeah, we better go check him real quick. He was fast and furious and has some awesome colors on him. Got a lot of white on his wings. Ah, nope, another young bird. Very young bird, but really cool. Look at that. Look at his white flights. Really pretty. Oh, ho, ho, ho. two birds, one shot. Oh, they paired up perfectly. Oh, that was killer. That is twice today. Or man, they're really coming in pairs. Look at this. Ooh, waited a little too long. See if they come back. Yep. Oh, just being picky today, boys. Just being picky, that's all. <whistles> Gotta grab my swig. I've really been liking these ghost citrus. No, they did not sponsor this video, but that would be really cool to be on board with a caffeine company. Boy, I could use that. You know what I mean in the mornings? Here we go. Just getting all cleaned up. The hunt is over and boy, uh, to be quite honest, this hunt provided a lot better. Uh, way better than I thought it was going to. Uh, I found it a few days ago. Only got to scout it one morning. One morning. I saw probably, I'd say 50. That was three days ago. Haven't scouted it since. We had a rain uh, a couple days ago, so I was like, ah, I'm not gonna go tomorrow. Seems like it's always a jacked up hunt when you try to hunt pigeons the morning after a night's rain for some reason, I don't know. Um, but yeah, 36, 36 by myself. I only seen 50 total when I scouted it. Today I probably seen, uh, I mean you guys seen them too. Drop a comment down below how many pigeons showed up. Uh, I'd say most of the pigeons that did show up, they decoyed. They either decoyed or took a really hard look at us, but we decoyed today. I, solo I guess I should say, we decoyed almost every bird that came to this field. And I would say, an estimated, educated guesstimate was, I seen probably 75 birds, 80 birds. Could be 100, but I, I, I think it's still shy of 100 that I seen. So, pretty good shooting by myself. Give myself a good old pat on the back for that one. I didn't even get to show you the decoy spread. You, be, you guys that have seen my pigeon hunts, it's always about the same. I went uh, very light on the spread today. 
Uh, I did not use all my full body pigeons, but they still looking good. They're old, man. They're old. I probably used, I'm gonna guess, three and a half dozen probably total. Two spinners, um, all young birds. That's why we got the reaction we did today. Them just giving it up because they're young. It's like them juvie snow geese, man. When we get them juvies here, uh, you know, late December, boy, howdy. Early January, boy, howdy. They decoy really well. 